Hey, um, I haven't done my knees in all, quite a while, actually. Well, it says New Year's, which was two days ago, but I haven't really properly made one in a while, so... Uh, this is the end of this trip, which I'm a bit gutted about. It's actually, it's been really, really fun. I've done a lot of crazy shit, like I jumped, <laughs> I went skydiving. I jumped out of a plane on my own free will and was remarkably okay with it. I didn't get scared, which it's not like me. I, I don't mind heights, I just don't like falling from them. Or the idea of it anyway. I'd have, I was absolutely fine with it the whole time, which is really strange. Um, but yeah, because this is the end of the tour, they've kind of separated it out a little bit. Uh, it's not... It's weird, it's a bigger tour. Um, it started five days before I joined it, and it ends... Uh, six days from now I think and me and another guy are sharing what seems to be like an apartment it's like there's three beds uh, I've got the bunk bed double bed thing and he's got the double bed in the room next door so I have my own room for the first time since I left home which is amazing um, yeah, yeah it's amazing how much you appreciate little things like that um, I had a really good New Year. New Year was great fun. I just basically went out and danced and did the crap dance music, but it was great fun. I had a lot of fun. I was with a bunch of people. I enjoyed their company. And it was it was a good laugh. Um, New Zealand being New Zealand, I haven't had Wi-Fi in a while. Uh, well, kind of wondering how everyone's doing and it's just generally what's happening because I haven't heard from anyone apart from a couple of New Year's messages, which were nice. Um, yeah. Like I said, this tourist trip's gone by really, really fast. I know it was only 12 days, but it seems to have gone really fast. The bus is awesome. It's like a full-size coach, and the seats are, like, nice leather and shit. And uh, when the first day I was on it, they were like, yeah, it's a really long drive today. It's three hours. That's like, <laughs> three hours of a piece of this. Try to plug my iPod in and, like, listen to some music and they put a movie on. I was like, oh, yeah, maybe. So, like, anytime you're on a drive longer than two hours, there's a movie on. And the scenery is awesome, but it's actually a lot like home. Um, it's raining just now, I don't know if you can hear it, but um, it's been raining for like all day pretty much. And uh, the scenery is just like, it's like home, it's just like hills and rivers and stuff. There's a lot of waterfalls and the hills get quite steep, that's the only slight difference, but yeah, it's great, it's made me quite happy. Um, I really like New Zealand. Not entirely keen on the locals accent and the women are a bit special. Some of them anyway, um, but what are you going to do? I'm having fun. Um, so yeah, I've got three more days here, and then two days in Christchurch, and then I fly to Australia and begin my new crazy life. But, um, yeah, I meant to make a proper video at New Year, but I've been really busy like, we've been getting up really early, and then doing a bunch of random stuff. Like, uh, New Year's Eve, I... We went for a we were driving to wherever it was we were going. We stopped uh, and took photos of seals, and then we went. I went swimming with seals, which was like fun. And um, it was a good two hours, three hours of doing that, and then we went for dinner and then we went out. So like that was took a whole day just gone. Like, and like I said, this is the first time I had a room to myself, so it's the first time I've had a chance to make a video. But uh, what I wanted to say at New Year was um, I'll check my time. Yeah, plenty of time. Um, for as long as I care to remember I've been working in bars I've been working New Year and every time the bells go I say Happy New Year to the people and maybe I know them really well maybe I don't but I always find myself thinking start of the year as you mean to go on and going great I'm stuck behind a bar bored at my tree and hating it and every year I kept thinking I shouldn't do this anymore I should do something else and this year I was so happy because, for one, I actually got to spend New Year with people I enjoy the company of as opposed to whoever just happened to be on shift with me. Not that I haven't had some, I haven't been on with some good mates before, but it's, you know, it's nice not to be at work and uh, I had so much fun. And if you told me at the start of the year that I was going to spend New Year in New Zealand, single and homeless and on a mad adventure, I would have just laughed. Like, I wouldn't have seen this coming. I don't think anyone saw this coming. But I'm having a great time. And there's nothing stopping anyone from 
doing whatever you think will make you happy and like I sold all of my stuff I, I don't technically have a home and I have no job and I can't be happier I'm having a ball like I'm <laughs> such a good time I had a great night there it's like 3 in the morning uh, we get back in at like 1 and <laughs> we've just been up talking and stuff it's great um, but yeah I lost my train of thought. <laughs>